the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our You are amazing. Lift your hands and say, Father, thank you. What manner of God are you? You are an amazing God. Go ahead and bless him for the many things that you do in our midst, the testimonies, proof of your faithfulness. Lift your hands and bless him. You are amazing. Bless his name, faithful. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place, faithful God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, sing you are awesome, you are awesome in this place, come on worship him, lift your hands, hey. you are awesome in this place, let the saints sing to your maker, you are awesome in this place, faithful God, faithful God, hallelujah, 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 hey, sing you are awesome, you are awesome in this place, oh mighty God. This is our testimony as a family. Hey, you do wonders in me. This is our testimony. You do wonders in me. Faithful God. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Yahweh, 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 you are 
seven word be to say Yahweh. Is that your testimony? Sing Yahweh. My King, our King, yes, you are the Lord, of the Lord, yes, you are, yes, you are the King, hey, yes, you are the King, yes, you are the Lord. The king, yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the king. Yes, you are the king. Yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. We call you king. Thank you. The only one who is able to transform. Bless his holy name. Sheba Kabara da Bosaya. Mande Basa Preste Kapali Arabo. One generation will declare your praise to another. Forever, O oh Lord, you are king. Thy throne, O oh Lord, is forever. Thank you. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for the power of your spirit. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a faithful God. Ever true to his word. This is why we are all gathered. We are not gathered before an idol. We are not gathered before an opinion or a philosophy of men. Hallelujah. We are gathered before the King, the King of Kings. Father, we thank you. We have come to receive, we have come to learn, we have come to grow. We have come to be free. Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Thank you for the power of your spirit. Thank you for the power of your spirit. Thank you for the power of your spirit. Hallelujah. It's always a delight in the presence of God. Not for the formality of, of it. But we understand that every time we show up in his presence, number one, we get to experience the love, the faith, the power of the Spirit. When you stand before him, then all your fears and challenges melt away. When all things that surrounds become shadow in the light of you. That's what happens in his presence. So we are exposed to the power of his spirit. The impact and the influence of the spirit of God upon your life. Is the one who causes the word of God to come alive in your spirit. Sets you above. Shakes you out of every excuse that men can have. And places you in a position where you can rule and reign with him. Hallelujah. That's what God is doing in this place. God is separating us, building us. So that we can truly rule and reign with him. So you will experientially rise to that realm where you are above the limitations of this system. For the Bible says we have been raised up together with him and we have been made to sit. And so we demonstrate to creation that our concept of Jesus being king is not just a religious opinion. It is true. 
that's why he called us witnesses a witness is one who validates that the claim of another is true and we were not there when jesus died we were not there when he resurrected but the spirit of god who was there lives in us and he's the one who walks in us so that although we were not there because of his ministry in us we will prove that it is true that's what makes us witnesses thank you lord thank you for your presence we give you all the glory we will never get too satisfied with your presence oh i sense the sweet presence of the holy spirit just lift your hands i sense the strong anointing of the spirit can you just lift your hands everybody inside and outside for a few minutes and let the glory of god i see his anointing and his power let it rain let it rain see the strong presence of god moving all over this place open the flood case of heaven yeah. let it rain let it rain the sweet presence of the holy ghost open the flood case of heaven help me worship us let it rain let of the spirit open the floodgates of heaven yeah. let it rain let it rain let it rain the floodgates the fullness of the spirit the impact of his presence upon your mortal body let it rain Open the floor gate. Open the floor gate of heaven. Let it rain. Open the floor gate. Open the floor gate of heaven. Floodgates of heaven. Open the floor. The floodgates of heaven. Just the voices. Let it rain. Let it rain upon us. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Open the floodgates. One more time. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floor gates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floor gates of heaven. Open the floor gates of heaven. Hallelujah. Let Hallelujah. It rain. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Without the Holy Spirit in our lives, there's no transformation. There is an activity of the Holy Spirit in you. That's what makes you become supernatural. And so when we expose ourselves in the atmosphere of the Spirit, we are not only changed, we are empowered. The kingdom life is not just a life of words. He said the kingdom of God is not in words. We are not talking of falling down. That's not the power. An empowerment comes from the word energies. An energizing of your spirit man. There is an ability of the spirit that is activated in you. So that although you are an ordinary man, you are empowered to do the things that are beyond your human capacity. How shall these things be? Mary said. He said the power of the highest 
shall overshadow you. That's why we get the word baptism. Comes from the Greek word baptizo. To be immersed in a flood. Such that you are not seen again. That you be immersed. That's what koinonia is about. Intimacy. That you become immersed in the fullness of the person of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no empowerment. Without the Holy Spirit, you'll never live the supernatural life. Without the Holy Spirit, you remain under the limitations. You try to get what you call the Word of God without the Holy Spirit, it will turn into religion. It's the Holy Spirit who makes the word spirit and life. He's the breath of God. The one who came upon Adam, dust and quicken that dust to become a living soul the bible says we're of the breed of the second adam who is not just a living soul but a quickening a life-giving spirit tell him lord change me by the power of your word and your spirit tonight go ahead and pray please do not make it a religious experience god is really changing people and you can be that person tonight Expose yourself to the atmosphere of his glory. I see miracles, signs and wonders in the glory and the power. I see miracles signs and wonders sing lord i receive lord i receive sign out of faith say lord i partake lord i partake lord i receive lord, i receive I the fullness of your spirit i receive wisdom I receive glory. Sing, Lord, I receive Lord, the empowerment of your spirit. The glory and the beauty that comes with your presence. For the last time, Lord, I receive. There is beauty and glory that comes out of a believer when the Holy Spirit not is not just when it comes to your life when the Holy Ghost is allowed to find expression there is a dimension of beauty there is a dimension of power and of glory that he brings strength for weakness audacity for timidity grace glory attributes of his presence when the spirit of God is alive in you he begins to produce the traits of the kingdom brings you to that point where there is nothing short of beauty and glory that emanates from your life and all that see you will know that there is a fragrance of his presence upon you. it's not about your age it's not about your gender it's not about your level of experience it's about his glory it's called the glory kabod the weight the manifest weight of god upon your life turns an ordinary person into an awesome one hallelujah hallelujah listen to me inside and outside listen we have an assignment we are not visionless people we are not just church people trying to preach are you listening to me we have an assignment every time we stand upon this pulpit we have an assignment a mandate given from god the mandate is to expose your spirit man to the light and the glory of god's presence so that you are empowered by the activity of his spirit you are equipped by the knowledge and the revelation of the kingdom he said rule thou 
in the midst of your enemies it's our job to bring you to a point where you don't just cram scriptures and no verses but you come to a point where you understand the patterns of the kingdom the bible says he showed the nation of israel his acts but his ways his principles his methodology he showed moses whenever you lay hold of kingdom principles you can reproduce results again and again hallelujah that's why above and beyond the manifestations of the spirit our goal is not just to have people fall up and down our goal is to equip you with the revelation of god's word the greatest asset that any man can have in this life is not just a bible it's the understanding accurate understanding of the word of god it will empower you to rule you don't rule by your human strength in this realm understanding is what leads the way he said in all your getting get understanding many of us are coming from different christian backgrounds full of religion and philosophy that are only a form of godliness without the power that can cause transformation we are still under the bondages of satan oppressed by demons living in poverty and lack not knowing our assignment moving without vision and without purpose and the lord brings you to a point where the kingdom of god is redefined not just as a religion and a movement called christianity but a life life of victory a life of intimacy bringing you to a point where you understand that as we fellowship with the holy spirit we have partnership with him you and the spirit in partnership building the kingdom of our father advancing the frontiers of his kingdom becoming agents of national transformation this is our assignment lord we brace up our spirits tonight even as your word challenges us again bring us to that point of understanding oh god deliver us from the religion of church deliver us from the religion and the traditions of men the religion of christianity and bring us into the fullness of the life of god's glory and power in us and cause us to be relevant in our generation in the name of jesus christ walk up to 10 people just love them give them a wonderful hug make sure you do that smiling your citizens of the same kingdom your citizens of the same kingdom i live to praise your name and i have no fear of what tomorrow brings can we sing this song this just one time i leave i leave to praise your name i have no fear whatsoever i have no fear of what tomorrow come on celebrate your future your destiny your heritage in christ i leave to praise your name i have no fear whatsoever i have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Turn to someone, turn to someone and prophesy. Say, I live to praise his name. I Come on. To praise your name. And I have no fear. And I, I have no fear. fear of what tomorrow brings. For the last time, I live, I live. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you leave. Because you leave. Jesus, I leave today. I need to pray for the last time. Because you leave. I have no fear. I have no fear. No, no fear. Of what tomorrow brings. Because you leave. Because you leave. Jesus, I leave today. I leave to praise your name. Hallelujah. God bless.
bless you. Please be seated. There's no fear. There's no fear. It's amazing. Listen. Listen to me. It's amazing how many people live. Do you know how destructive fear is? Hallelujah. Fear can be so destructive. Let me tell you something. There are three... There are three levels of fear that Satan uses to oppress people. This is not my message tonight. I just felt like challenging us. Listen carefully, inside and outside. There are three levels of fear. Number one is fear from your past failure. Satan uses the fear. I was discussing this with a dear lady. The fear from your past failures. And so every time you want to move forward and the word of God challenges you to do great things for the kingdom. Every time you want to take steps of faith, the fear of your past failure, not just the fear of your past. You don't fear your past success. You only fear the past failures. And so Satan begins to tell you how many times you tried and tried again to catch fish throughout the night and nothing happened. When you conquer the fear of past failures, then you are ready to brace up for a victorious life. Hallelujah. Number two, fear that comes as a result of ignorance. There is fear that is as a result of ignorance. People say when fear knocks the door, call faith. It depends on what you call faith. Faith that is born out of religion will open the door and see fear standing. The antidote to fear that comes from ignorance is knowledge and understanding. He said, in all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. He said, she shall bring an ornament of glory upon thy head when thou dost embrace her. Doth not wisdom cry. He said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So there is fear that comes. How many of you have found yourself being afraid if we are going to do it, an interview right now on scriptures and the Bible? I'll be so confident. But the moment we are going to do an interview over cooking, I'll start fidgeting. The same me who was confident, who was, who was very confident a while ago. You know why? Because I have not mastered the laws. So I'm afraid of embarrassing myself before people. Are you listening to me? There is confidence that comes from the knowledge of the word of God the operation of the principles of God many believers who do not expose themselves to the knowledge of the word and many believers live in this category hallelujah if I'm sleeping and a demon appears in my room I'll not even pray about it I'll just keep sleeping knowledge that sets you free from fear are you listening to me if someone looks at me today and says, Joshua Selman, I want to announce to you that you are a failure. I'll say, God bless you. Glad to know your opinion. And that ends it. There is confidence that comes from the revelation of the word of God. Are you listening to me? If someone tells me, do you know you're going to be poor in this life? No, it's too late. I'm not just trying to claim it or pray about it. It's too late. It's not too late because of Naira and Kobo. It's too late because the word of God has been engrafted in my spirit, number one. Number two, my heart is already committed to obey the principles of God. Are you following me now? That's the second level of fear. The third level of fear comes from the opinion of other people. It's amazing how many people are unable to live the fullness of their lives because we allow what people to think about us. What would they say? What will this person... The condition to be criticized is that you are born of a woman. Full stop. Satan is destroying people who are criticizing him. Jesus is blessing people who are still criticizing him. The condition... Listen, hear me. If you do not conquer the fear that comes from the opinion of others, you will never make headway in life. I'm preaching to somebody this night. Hallelujah. I refuse to let the opinion of others make me ashamed of believing the word of God. Someone looks at me and says, can this young guy be a Pentecostal blasting tongues? Your opinion is has no effect on me whatsoever. The future will tell whether I'm wasting my time or not. Are you listening to me? We worry too much about people and what they say. You want to come to church. 
and you are wondering how ah, my roommates they are just in about something now they are going to wonder are you kidding let me tell you something the fear of people is conquered based on the conviction you have over what you are doing your depth of conviction is what gives you audacity in spite of what people are saying if somebody comes to hold my hand and say i know you or when we we're growing up i mean you 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 are now the preacher i mean that's that's it it i mean it it doesn't even bother me are you listening to me there is a depth of he said but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded persuaded somebody comes to tell me okay don't you think this holy spirit thing you're doing is too much why don't you strike a balance are you kidding or someone comes to say are you really sure jesus is alive that's even the worst because i've seen him i didn't just read about him in the bible i know he's alive not just because i read it in the bible i have seen him that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled even of the word of life this is what we teach are you listening to me so the first encouragement tonight is that you must conquer fear say after me in the name of jesus Amen. shout it like you believe it inside and outside I conquer, fear. I conquer fear. I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. My, God My God is alive. The word of God is true. The word of God is true. And, God and God will not fail me. Yes. God will not fail you. Jesus was not playing games with you when he hung on the cross. Are you listening to me? No matter how much you are playing games, he stops when blood starts coming out. Jesus was certainly not playing games on the cross. A 33 year old man hung naked upon the cross. He's not playing games. And he died to not just bring to us a life of purpose, but a life of victory. Are you listening to me? It's not just enough to live a life of purpose. You must live a life of victory. Your victory is proof that Jesus is Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm going to be teaching. I'll teach briefly. I want us to pray. Revelations 5. I'm only challenging us tonight. I want to provoke something in your spirit man as we pray. Hallelujah. I started by saying it's not just enough to live the life of what you must live the life of there are many believers who are purpose driven but they are not victorious when you are not victorious it will frustrate your being purpose driven jesus didn't just die to give us vision and give us a life of purpose he died to bring us into victory a victorious life hallelujah and tonight very briefly i'm teaching on reigning with christ reigning with christ to provoke us to be conscious of the fact that we are supernatural beings hallelujah one of the interesting revelations please look up one of the interesting revelations about the four living creatures as shown in the bible um, in the book of revelations chapter one and when and chapter four also when john the revelator began to describe the four living creatures he said something very briefly just to establish what i'm sharing tonight number one he said he saw a living creature with the face of a lion say after me a lion number two he said he saw a living creature with the face of a calf number three one of the living creatures had the face of what a man and finally had the face of a flying eagle what kind of mystery is this i hope you realize that everything around the throne is a reflection of who god is hallelujah everything that god does is an outward manifestation of all that he carries that's where we get the word glory the fullness of the essence of all that god is so when he says he desires that the knowledge of his glory covers the earth he wants people to comprehend as much multifaceted dimensions of him as they can get this is why there are six billion people moving across the earth today hallelujah 
everyone mandated to reveal a dimension of God's glory. And with 600 or 6 billion people, if everyone walked in purpose, we will still not scratch a minute portion of all that is contained in the person called God. Hallelujah. The face of a lion corresponds to the book of Matthew. Reveals God as king. Talks about dominion. His power. The face of the living creature connotes the dominion, the power, the strength, the ability of God. It's an ability that comes with the knowledge of the word. It's called exousia. Power of attorney that comes when you can stand to represent one in his capacity. Hallelujah. So the first living creature reveals God as a mighty one. Hallelujah. The second talks about the face of a calf and it reveals Christ as the servant. Hallelujah. It's not just enough for you to know that Jesus is king. You must understand that he became a servant. When he walked upon the earth, he walked as a servant. He washed the feet of his disciples. He served, leaving a pattern that everyone who wants to become like him, it's not just enough for you to know your right and your dominion. You must embrace the spirit of a servant. Are you following me? In fact, the greatest in the kingdom, according to the teachings of Jesus, is the one who serves. The word minister is the word servant. Not Lord, as many people put it. Number three, the face of a man. Jesus Christ expresses his humanity. Jesus wept. Jesus was hungry. Jesus ate. Jesus was tired. Hallelujah. He expressed his humanity. That means there's nothing wrong when your humanity emerges in your journey to love God. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Bible says, though weeping endures. Many times, we teach people to strangle their humanity as proof that they are Christians. The Bible doesn't teach that. There is glory that is derived from your humanity. When Jesus cried, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, he gave us an expression that this was a human going through that excruciating pain. And so there's nothing wrong with your humanity except for the fact that without the others it is incomplete the fourth reveals the king as a divine supernatural person the face of the flying eagle corresponds to the book of john hallelujah so matthew reveals christ as king mark reveals christ as the servant the calf luke reveals christ as the man and the book of John reveals Christ as the divine one. It's in the book of John that three chapters were dedicated to the Holy Spirit. 14, 15, 16. And he began to talk about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not discussed so much in other chapters. Are you listening to me? And so, it's not just enough to let you know that you are a servant you know we have been trashing the issue of character we have been trashing the issue of manifesting the character of the kingdom living by the principles of the kingdom hallelujah not bowing to Baal, allowing god to lead us through the process of greatness hallelujah we have been able to establish in our lives the concept of the kingdom by now you understand that success is not about money success is about people impacting people blessing lives letting the giftings and the blessings of god in you become a blessing to others but it's not enough if we stop there are you listening to me we must provoke you to a point where you realize that you are supernatural say after me i am supernatural you are all supernatural the divine life of the spirit is at work in you do you realize that you are not if you are born again in this place you are not just living by your biological life 
it takes the holy spirit to help you believe this that you're not just living with your biological life the bible makes us to understand that we are partakers of this divine life hallelujah first peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness he said this has come through the knowledge through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue hallelujah there is a manifestation of the divine life that the believer must come into terms with because you see this biological system this social system has many ills there are sicknesses there are demons there are challenges and if all we have to show the world is that we are visionary people and purposeful people it's not enough to crown him king there must be that supernatural dimension we must demonstrate to the world that we have been raised up with christ and that today experientially we are living and reigning with him as kings and priests so briefly i'll just be challenging us and then we pray revelations 5 thank you jesus adonai lamb of god you are worthy worthy of my praise king of kings lord of lords let your kingdom reign in my life sing adonai 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 sing adonai adonai sing adonai adonai can we sing it one more time adonai adonai lamb of god you are worthy of my praise you are worthy worthy of my praise king of kings king of kings lord of lords lord of lords let your kingdom reign in my life let your kingdom reign in my life sing adonai 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 sing adonai Revelations 5 verse 8 And when he had taken the scroll The four living creatures and four and twenty elders Fell down before the Lamb Having every one of them harps And golden bowls full of incense Which are the prayers of the saints Let's read verse 9 together Verse 9, 1 to read and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof it says for thou was slain and thou has redeemed us to god by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation next verse and has made us unto our god kings and priests and we shall reign where we shall reign where it's in your bible it says he has redeemed us calling us out of every kindred every trunk every nation can i tell you something we represent different kingdoms different cultures different mindsets different ideologies we're coming from different parts of this country and outside of this country but the bible says that through the shed blood of the living son of god he has called us 
from our different places with our culture, our tradition, our mindset, our limitation. He has called all of us and brought us into one family. And from that family, he has exalted us so that we become kings and priests that will reign now here in this earth. I hope you understand that John saw the things that were, the things that are, and the things that will happen thereafter. And part of his findings was that he saw that they sang a new song. This was the song that they were singing in heaven. They were singing melodies and saying, worthy, qualified, is he who is worthy to open the book. Jangfa shared on the breaking of the seals. Hallelujah. To open the book and unlock the seals. It says, for thou hast redeemed the word us there is wrong. It's supposed to be them because the ones singing in heaven are not the redeemed. We are the ones who they did not benefit from the I hope you realize that these were the elders and the beings in heaven. They were not the saints who were singing. So it's supposed to be thou hast redeemed them not us. As it's used there. Anyway that's just for your knowledge and understanding. Thou hast redeemed them unto God by thy blood. Calling everyone through the blood of Jesus. I enter the holy of holies. So from Adamawa through the blood. From Lagos through the blood. From Plateau State through the blood. Are you listening to me? From Abuja through the blood. Calling everyone out of every kindred. Come. Your religion is to do this. Come. You're coming. Come calling people come out of every kindred yes we we drink the blood of bulls and goats come we don't believe in early marriage just come we are we are failures in life come no no i, I will use you come 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 from every tribe every tongue every nation whether it's in the map of this country or not Say after me, I am called. The blood speaks. I hope you realize that. The Bible tells us that the blood speaks. It speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel speaks vengeance. The blood of Christ speaks mercy. Beckoning on men. Let me tell you what mercy is. Mercy is God exempting you from a punishment that you deserve. Grace gives you what you do not deserve. Mercy exempts you from what you deserve. The punishment that you deserve. Are you following me now? And so, every man according to God's justice is supposed to die for his sins. I hope you know that. When Adam sinned, he died. In the days of Noah, when they sinned, what happened? They died. But the blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ being the veil between the inner court and the most holy place, allowing the sword of men to pierce him, as that veil and his blood invites men says come and you say lord i'm limited he said no my blood qualifies you mercy said no i'm not gonna let you go god bless you sit down i'm not gonna let you sleep away you don't have to be afraid mercy said no. hallelujah so every time you come from your kindred. Our tribes and our cultures have their limitations. There are different tribes and cultures that are associated with different things. Are you listening to me? Associated with weakness, with sickness, with defeat, with failure, with all kinds of things. And the blood gives us a platform. And the king begins to call people out of every kindred. I'm trying to give you a a drama of what was going on in heaven they said worthy 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 is he that is qualified to call men in spite of their limitations any excuse you give the blood covers let me tell you something about the blood you see two things i'll tell you two things about the blood that will encourage you as we continue number one 
everything that is seen through the blood is called holy anything just anything that is seen through the blood and when god was giving them a prototype of the tabernacle he told them that in the most holy faith this was the most holy place this is the instruction that the high priest would never come in without blood are you listening to me because in the most holy place there was the shibboleth and then the mercy seat two two cherubims that protect the holiness of god made of pure gold overlaying them is what we call the mercy seat are you listening to me now the priest because there was no light in the most holy place are you following me now the glory of god the literal shekinah of god is what gave light and so once a year in an event we call in the jew yom kippur the day of atonement where the entire nation of israel will come together and then the high priest that has been anointed to offer sacrifice on behalf of the people now according to jewish customs the lamb had to be a year old because the age of the lamb determines the validity of the atonement are you following me now and so the lamb had to be a year old without blemish and the priest would sanctify himself lest he die beholding the holiness of god and because the people are not sure whether god will accept him they would tie a chain around his leg as he marches to the most holy place because god is so holy he cannot be holding iniquity and so there will be people standing in the inner court so that in an event where the high priest is not qualified by god's standard he would drop dead there immediately and they will use the chain to draw him out are you following me now and so the high priest the nation of israel would stand in fear hoping that god will accept their sacrifices through the high priest are you listening to me and then the high priest full of every kind of fear will begin to take steps into the most holy place the moment he opens the curtain before he enters the first thing that will enter is the blood are you listening to me the blood is held in a a bowl and so he would enter with the blood and immediately pour the blood upon the mercy seat so that when god looks at the mercy seat because you see inside of the ark of the covenant were three things number one the ten commandments that contains the judgment of god over men and every man had fallen short of it number two the rod of aaron that bordered hallelujah symbolizing the life-giving presence of the spirit number three the sh the bread a sample of the manna that fell from heaven that will not decay typifying the divine life the quality and the power of the word of god these were the three things that were in the most holy place i mean in the ark of the covenant and if the eyes of god were to look at the covenant without the blood he will see the ten commandments and everyone has broken it so god will be compelled to execute judgment otherwise he will fail to be god are you listening to me because i the love love justice and i hate wickedness so before the lord will look down the high priest will pour the blood so that when god looks he doesn't see the ten commandments again all he sees is the blood and because of that blood suddenly the shekinah of god will descend from above physically evidently the entire nation of israel will see the shekinah the light the glory the power of god and it will come and light up the most holy place and it's a symbol that their sins had been atoned for for one year and then the nation of israel this one time will have the opportunity to say yahweh the only time they're allowed to call the name yahweh yahweh you are glorious so glorious in your ways and when jesus showed up the bible makes us to understand that one thing to make us eternally acceptable before the father jesus had an idea and he became the lamb at the same time he became the high priest and the bible says he sacrificed himself and he took his blood 
when Mary wanted to touch him when he resurrected, said, do not touch me. She said, Rabboni, do not touch me, for I have not yet ascended. What was this ascending to do? To enter the most holy place. There is a real tabernacle like that in heaven. It was what Moses saw that he reproduced on earth. Because according to the law of the spirit, it is always reproduced in the earth as it is in heaven. So Jesus, wearing his priestly robe, follow me. When he resurrected, he stood with his blood. And went into that most holy place. The very throne room. And went to the tabernacle and offered his blood. And said, these ones for every man. Born of a woman. That washes our sins away. Lamb of God, I worship you. And listen, the implication is this. Every time you want to approach the Father, the condition to approach the Father, let me use someone. Sam, please come. Do I, can anybody help me with a veil? I like using this. Any veil or something. Thank you. Watch this. This is called righteousness. Say after me, righteousness. The condition to approach the Father is that you must possess this quality called righteousness. The ability to stand in the Father's presence without a sense of guilt, without a sense of condemnation. Are you listening to me? Without a sense of sin. Are you listening to me? From the time man fell, no man, and the condition is that your righteousness must equate that of Jesus. That's the only condition to be able to approach the father and so through the law the prophets and everyone they tried to be righteous but their righteousness was short of that of jesus are you listening to me and then jesus had this idea when he shed his blood he now said sam you can come to the father but every time sam wants to walk his kindred his tribe the tongue and where he's coming from reminds him that there are certain things that will not qualify him and then the christ says if you believe in my substitutionary sacrifice then i give you my righteousness come every time the devil wants to accuse you listen when god looks at you he doesn't just see you he sees the blood of his son upon you and that's what makes you holy you are not just holy because of a lot of religious things you are holy on account of what christ has done it is the activity of that spirit of holiness that causes you to begin to be, to reveal the out what we call the deeds of holiness because of the presence of the spirit of god are you listening to me so he calls you out of every tribe out of every kindred and when you say i'm not qualified he says no Come and reign with me. My blood qualifies you. If you do not have this revelation, you will never be able to approach the Father to rule and to reign with Him. The basis of the believer's victory is hinged on the substitutionary work of the living Christ. The blood that opens up the door. I hope you realize that when Jesus said it is finished, there was a cut from the top of the veil right there you know what let me tell you something you may not have observed in your bible do you realize that many years when the ark of the covenant was captured for a second time it was captured once and with dancing and singing david took it back but a prophecy came that it will be captured the second time and it will not return but the religious people still preserve the veil and they lied to the people there was the ark of the covenant there because when it tore they did not see anything inside when the veil tore they did not see any most holy place again jesus said let me reveal to you the deceit of religion that brings you to a point of piety and wants you to attain righteousness a means outside of christ so the life of the believer is in Christ, with Christ, in Christ, with Christ. Never without him, in Christ. He is our sufficiency in Christ, reigning with Christ, living in Christ, hidden in Christ, above with Christ. That becomes the language of the believer on account of what Christ has done. So that, listen, listen, 
the implication of this is not just for you to know that the blood has paved way for you to come according to hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 i believe it said let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace so you can come boldly without a sense of timidity not because of what you have done this is what the problem with religion we feel that we have done all of the rituals we can do and on account of that the bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags the bible says let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need hallelujah and so he calls you say after me in christ i am the righteousness of god say in christ i am the righteousness of god god bless you sam that means you do not need to do more to be accepted there is nothing you will do that will make god accept you more than he has accepted you look up but you will need to do more to be used by god this is where a lot of people miss it out to be accepted does not mean to be relevant and to be used are you following me now reigning with christ the first revelation is that the blood has given you access if you are writing right the blood of christ gives you access to the throne you cannot talk about reigning without a throne the blood of christ gives you access your access to ruling and reigning is not on account of what you have done it's on account of everything christ has done from then on the moment you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior he becomes your sufficiency it is always with christ in christ with christ in christ and for christ in him we live in him we move in him we have our being galatians 2 20 i have been crucified with christ nevertheless i live yet not i but christ that lives in me and the life that i live in the flesh i live by the faith of the son of god and he called us and we didn't just stop at the gates i hope you realize we did not stop at the door of the throne room he said still come and feeling unqualified he says just come and takes us to his very throne and says sit with me in royalty that's what makes you more than a conqueror a conqueror is one who fought the battle i follow me now you fought the battle they beat your face like you came out from a meat machine you still won you are a conqueror and then you take the present you won and stagger your way to your wife and say sweetheart you have this she's more than a conqueror that's why the church is called the bride of christ more than conquerors that's not to say we are more than christ is to say by grace he loves us so much that he has exalted us and brought us to that point of royalty it's important you understand that the blood gives us access are you listening to me and as far as the father is concerned our access does not just stop at the gates that we follow right through and sit let me tell you something about sitting a king never sits until there is victory in his territory are you listening to me when a king sits in jewish days is proof that it is finished so when jesus said it is finished he didn't put satan as a factor he said it is sure finished are you following me now there is a revelation that will give you authority in this realm and he brought you and he made you a partaker of his divine life partaker of his divine life not a partaker of his throne alone a partaker first peter chapter 1 verse 3 okay can we have it in the slide first peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power second peter is it first or second second peter i'm sorry chapter 1 verse 3 according as his divine power hath given us all things not some things all things that pertain unto life and godliness how through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these great exceedingly great and precious promises that by this we might be partakers of his divine life having escaped the corruption through loss hallelujah and so he brings us to that point where we are partakers we are 
joint heirs joint heirs joint heirs let me show you what a joint heir is sweetheart come Jangpa, permit me to use Bridget for a minute. Appreciate this great woman of God. Now, listen. <laughs> I'm free. I'm free. I just spoke a language. It's none of your business. Hallelujah. Now, listen. If I own an estate, follow me. Please follow me. I need you to get a revelation of what it means to be joint heirs with Christ. If I own an estate, are you listening to me? assuming god forbid this is just an example assuming this is one cleaner one regular cleaner in the estate i follow me now who comes to clean maybe the bathrooms or something and as the ceo of that estate i suddenly come and get married to her now whether she feels qualified or not does not stop the fact that she has become the wife of the ceo of that estate the moment we say i do it doesn't matter who hates her or who doesn't like her there is a present tense reality that this has become the ceo's wife are you following me now that means she's entitled to all the blessings and the rights and the benefits that follows that position it's not about what she has done it's called a positional advantage are you listening to me now she goes back to her colleagues that they used to sweep together i'm sorry I'm, I'm standing by your side. Jamfa will be a good caretaker. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen. Together, she has a right to tell the driver, the driver who has been insulting her every day, say, please take me to the market. He can murmur, but he will still kick the car. Yeah. This is not about what he wants. It's about an instruction. Are you listening to me? In the kingdom, we do not function because of any power of ourselves. We are the bride of this king called Christ. The body that he uses to operate so when you come and look at a door and say that door be open they may murmur that's the reason why i don't have any business discussing with demons when i'm casting out demons that's hey, i'll not go uh, it's not whether you want to or not i give an instruction as touching a kingdom are you listening to me when there's a challenge in your life you stand and say satan you are looking at me alone but let me introduce the second person to you or rather let me tell you that i'm the second person in this equation there is one who is mightier than i young gicho calls him my senior partner the one who represents the government of heaven are you listening to me whether you believe it or not there is a crown upon your head sit down thank you very much are you listening to me christ has brought it to you but now although that is a reality from god's perspective it takes knowledge through the knowledge it takes knowledge for you to begin to walk in that reality are you listening to me so in the mind of god he does not see any reason why satan should prevail over you he does not see any reason why we should be weak and beggarly under the elements of this life number one because he has given you his divine life the presence of god the holy spirit who represents the government of heaven he lives in you the holy spirit makes all the difference the life the very life of god not the type god didn't give us a type of his spirit called holy no the very spirit if that same spirit that resurrected christ is it in your bible yes. romans chapter 8 verse 11 if that same spirit i believe am i right that same spirit that resurrected christ from the dead lives in not just your spirit your mortal body i i have a mission to convince you tonight and bring you to that point where you realize that you are not ordinary nobody will preach me into believing i'm an ordinary person are you listening to me no you are not this is not about bragging and talking it's a reality that you did not even participate in god brought you into that reality and he says you are divine so his life flows through you his life flows all over you the essence of the presence of god revealing the power the life the glory of god to people hallelujah 
that you are ruling and reigning with Christ. Say after me, with Christ. That statement with Christ is the basis of your dominion in this kingdom. Because many people do things, we rule and reign with prayer. Listen, we rule and reign with confession. We rule and reign with fasting. We rule and reign with diligence, with character. As good as those things are, they are only helping you to understand the with Christ concept. In the realm of the spirit, there is only obedience to one name. Christos. The Christ. Are you listening to me? So if I fast and I pray and I study the word of God, if I am not in Christ, have you seen a lot of people do different activities that should bless them, yet you cannot trace the blessing in their life? It's questionable. They are not doing it with revelation. Two people can fast. Hallelujah. Two people can fast. Let me use Manasseh. He just finished a 70 day fasting. So, two. <laughs> you people are laughing. There are two ways to get it go to Juju or listen to what I'm telling you. Are you listening to me? That's why we are all not fat. How about that? <laughs> Let me use Manasseh. Come, sir. Now, listen to me listen if he is fasting and as much as 70 days is he stretches 70 days without revelation you just performed an excellent religious exercise a painful one for that matter and there are many listen god bless you there are many people who do vigils every day they pray every day the strength of your 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 christian exercise is revelation there are people who pray in tongues without revelation and get angry at others and say, I'm praying just like this guy is praying. There must be something this guy is doing, Jerry. We are doing the exact same thing. You blow air on your cup, your spoon, nothing falls. You are angry. You are just frowning at everybody. It takes revelation. I am every time, let me tell you something. Every time I stand to minister to a sick body, Humanly speaking, you look at this sick body. There's cancer. Are you following me now? There is no human way or there's need for a new heart. How in the world is a new heart going to come? From your head? Are you following me now? But every time I stand, suddenly, the Lord does this every time. And when he does it, I feel the presence of God. Suddenly, when I stand, when there is any sense of discouragement, suddenly the Lord shows me in a split second the vision of the cross. He just reminds me, son, with Christ. The moment he says that the anointing comes upon me. And then I can tell the person, these hands I'm laying, they are the hands of two people. First, of the one seated upon the throne. Number two, the vessel he's using. On account of this, I command a new heart or I command cancer to die or I come everything I do in life I do it with partnership the concept of partnership is a revelation that the believer must know that's the reason why you can't destroy me it's not pride you know how many meetings we have gone to only God knows how many poisons we eat everything they give us imagine somebody like me who will not everything they will just give you collect and put in your mouth it's none of us that has for one night as far as i know roll on the bed and say ah there's no time for that we walk ourselves from day to night there are times that almost two or three days stretch no sleep and i'm not exaggerating what i'm saying I'm not saying you should practice that we're not just doing a purposeless staying awake so that you would stand and you put pins on your eyes and say i must do it now nah, that's religion lie down and sleep and god rested you must rest <laughs> hallelujah are you listening to me i'm just provoking you this is just a charge with christ with christ with christ you're writing a book no ideas with christ I'm reigning with Christ. I tap from his authority. I'm not alone with Christ. We're doing this ministry with Christ. We are blessing you with Christ. 
you are watching one person but there's the activity of the spirit of god he's coming to you and causing the world to come alive in your spirit that's what we cannot do we can recite nice poems on stage that cannot bring transformation that's the reason why i can be minding my business over there and someone is standing peacefully and the next thing you find people blowing air for you what happened partnership the holy spirit is trusting and blessing people causing the world to prosper in your spirit and that's how i rule and reign let me tell you i have zero tolerance for nonsense in my life zero tolerance hallelujah i don't take failure as a friend i don't entertain discouragement with christ i don't see limitations in my life i repented from seeing limitations a long time ago i don't see limitations the only thing that limits me is the principles of the kingdom that there is a time for everything there is nothing you are ruling and reigning with christ you come to that point where the word of god is in your mouth and when you speak things will happen as though christ himself spoke because you are with him rise up and walk will keep embarrassing you until the day you say it with christ the, um, the sons of skiva thought it was just rise up and walk say we are joy you and then they close to make a name for themselves and the demon said every time i look at people i see partnership you are lonely i didn't see jesus walking alone i didn't see paul walking alone i see all of you alone one with the holy spirit is an awesome wonder say after me i am seated with christ far above sickness next week is our miracle service it will be another opportunity i love it so much i love times that demonstrate the superiority and the authority of the kingdom you must have zero tolerance for anything that is not in heaven in your life can i tell you something it doesn't matter how many times you go to the hospital don't be discouraged but don't tolerate it are you listening to me if you must take the panadol take the panadol with a revelation and say look i'm not just taking this because i'm weak i'm accepting the fact that i'm a student in the school of the spirit give me time i may take three steps and start sinking a day will come my shadows will heal the sick so do not be discouraged every time we talk about this issue of sickness people just shrink away and say ah you are touching this one now been so no 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 there must be a dissatisfaction there is nothing i touch that doesn't get blessed i have programmed my mind to believe that i'm a blessing if i sit on this chair and you sit on it something good must happen to you it's not it's not a it's not ritual if i don't bless you the holy spirit will bless you that's why i can never be a failure as a person if i fail there is one that covers me it's called paracletus truly the believer is an unbeatable person that's why when you fall there's no room to say my trouser is dirty stand up and keep moving one who reigns with christ refuses to see limitations in your life there's poverty ravaging your family you challenge yourself and say in christ in christ i am coming in christ ideas are coming you are limited in many areas in your life in christ in christ in christ I reign with Christ. I have been called out of the limitation. People say in your village, nobody builds a house. Not without Christ, yes. Confession without Christ is useless. Fasting without Christ is useless. Church without Christ is useless. But in Christ and with Christ, all things are possible. And people say when you get to age 30 or 35, there's a plague of death that kills you in Christ you begin the Bible says you are hidden with Christ and Christ in God there's a revelation that sets you free do you not realize that it's a risk for us to be ministers of the gospel and then moving without some kind of security We don't hide our numbers from them. There was a time they were saying they call 
one mtn something that you call and then you go mad in my mind i say oh god i pray i always pray the prayer of jesus that runaway prayer is not the prayer of jesus jesus said i pray that you don't take them out stay there and prove that i'm victorious you call me and heaven is saying hello through the phone this is my mindset i'm telling you this is my mindset now i know that many of us can feel spooky and religious about what i'm saying but it must crystallize in your spirit you are supernatural not because you are called apostle or prophet because you are engrafted in Christ. so you are supernatural are you listening to me you are supernatural every one of you my brother you are supernatural stand up as as much you are supernatural you are not ordinary you are supernatural stop being afraid of the business that you are doing you started it shut it down because you are afraid you are supernatural hallelujah you are absolutely supernatural the life of god is in you you cannot share their fears are you listening to me i refuse to be afraid in this life it's an audacity that the word of god gives it's not about your statue it's not about your age whether or not your name is in there is nowhere that god says i should go that i cannot go there is nothing he says that i cannot do because every time god speaks he's walking with me and the lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following hallelujah we are doing this ministry together that's why koinonia is called intimacy and what partnership partnership with the holy spirit you are a king there's dominion upon you your words are powerful are you listening to me every time you speak every time you hear us emphasize don't speak rubbish don't command failure job was asked a question he said job has thou commanded thy morning he asked job a question he said job have you commanded your morning and have you commanded the constellations to line up many of us walk into our lives and hope that in the by and by things will change i refuse to be silent i reign i reign i command my morning there is dominion and there is authority that's the reason why if i prophesy to you that you are blessed listen let me tell you you are blessed because when i say you are blessed i put in motion the power and the ability of the one who is in partnership with me do you realize you are not ordinary all those cats crying and things disturbing your room when you enter a throne there is a whole throne in that room carry that mindset satan does not have a right to wake me from sleep there are only two reasons why i don't sleep one because i'm thinking or i'm planning i don't spend none of us spend more than 10 minutes to sleep we walk ourselves to tiredness when we lie down we bless the lord i don't pray that fearful prayer oh god if it's your will that i see tomorrow are you joking there is work to be done i'm aware that not many people are yielded to god so i'm valuable are you listening to me we are going to pray but i'm challenging you there is a mindset i am reigning with christ no limitations i am reigning with christ when i speak i speak on behalf of the government of heaven when i bless i bless on behalf of the heaven you need to carry you have been blessing people from your power and might you have not been doing it with christ the language tonight is with christ he walks through me he talks through me i may be ordinary but he lives through me when i look at people he's through me when i bless you he's touching you when i speak to you he's speaking to you with christ i reign with christ i do business with christ i do ministry with christ i bless people with christ i can never be short of ideas i'm with christ 
I refuse to be under. If you see me under today, give me time. I'm coming because I'm with Christ. Am I challenging you? And you get up and lock yourself and say, I have been called out of my tribe. Yes, nobody has ever worked in the embassy in your village. You are with Christ. Let every limitation be broken. We all came from places that are not celebrated. I am reigning, seated with Christ. It's no limitation. You came here from your various homes, not because of jazz, because of the authority, the compelling power that the partnership of Christ brings in your life. And now that you know you are a king, you begin to decree and legislate on behalf of heaven. You don't just speak as an ordinary person. See, I'm not talking about the fact that someone comes and just touches your head and you slap the person and say, do you know I'm a king? That's foolishness. That's not spiritual maturity. Foolishness. Not teaching you to just stand and brag and make noise. But I'm telling you that there is a revelation in you. I can never have lost that ability to pity myself. No, sir. It's impossible. I'm telling you, it's impossible to sit down and pity myself and say, ah, God, I wish I were like Aaron. What? What wish would you have again? You are in partnership with the king. I'm seated with Christ. All authority in heaven and the earth was vested in Christ. And I occupy that office with him in glory. I'm above sickness. I say it. I'm above failure. I'm above limitation. Demons are not my problem. I know that disobedience is my greatest obstacle. I have no regard whatsoever for Satan. I'm telling you. Ask him. I have no regard whatsoever for him. Zero tolerance. You must. Many of us have this nice way of negotiating with Satan. Can you leave me for two days and then come back again we have never come back from a crusade and then hold two weeks marathon training preservation prayer in fact we just those of you who have followed us for crusades we just and play and sleep as we are coming back you really think if satan had the power to kill you he would not I've always said this. When a demon is hitting your zinc or making noise, you know, ladies, all these things, tell the demon, why don't you come? What's the disturbance for? Smith Wigglesworth came out and saw a demon rocking a chair in his house, a physical demon. He wiped sleep and came out and when he saw the chair, he looked, he said, so is you. He turned back and went to sleep. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not faking it. It's true. John G. Lake, understanding that he's a king with Christ. No disease or sickness could touch him. Spokane was, was said to be the, the healthiest city in the whole world. E.W. Kenyon was a man who was so angry, nobody died less than 70 in his church. He would look at a bone that is cracked with his eyes and it would start cracking back and the person would jack up. These are not, their books are there, go and read it. Men who walked with Christ. There was a monk who they were trying to put wood in the church and the wood was short. He held it and completed it. With Christ that you rule and reign. Can I tell you something? As we round up, somebody may be asking me and said, if I'm with Christ, why do I look weak and beggarly? Why do I look oppressed let me tell you galatians chapter 4 quickly first let's go to job 5 quickly the book of job and let me tell you how god speaks thank you lord jesus tonight is an admonition i'm angry my spirit sorry job judges kabosa brandi gebara sufa silakaya Judges 6. The 
because we are going to pray listen this is the season where you will reign without limitation there is great grace and god wants to produce glory out of your life you cannot bless people when you are still suffering what they are suffering i exempt myself verse 11 and there came an angel of the lord and sat under an oak which was in offer and pertained to joash the abbey's right and his son gideon threshed with by the press to hide from the midianites now this was gideon because of the oppression that had happened to them the midianites gideon was the least in his father's house and his tribe was the least the bible says he was hiding to secretly thresh something because every time they thrashed it they had some bullies who would come are you listening to me they would come and bully them just like satan does to all of us let me tell you i was so oppressed by satan for a long time in my life every time i sleep i've shared my story demons i literally have visions of demons walk into my room and they oppress me so once it's evening i keep smiling but people don't know what is going on and one day light came into my spirit that i'm seated with christ above not below above above hallelujah i i i was staying in area bz i ran to area bz i ran to area bz and i stood outside near my bq and i shouted i said that demon that comes to oppress me i invite you this night that's what i said if demons are disturbing you just tell them to come and pay us a visit have a pleasant experience ah george don't talk like that oh we have seen men of god that have spoken like this and demons dealt with them i don't know what they believed but i know i'm sitting with christ i had a dream let's continue and the angel of the lord appeared to him now gideon was hiding i follow me now but hear what the angel i, I hope you understand that word angel is the lord himself and said the lord is with thee thou what Mighty man. thou what Mighty man. god does not call you by your past or present he calls you based on how he sees you he called things seeing a man who is hiding he calls him a mighty man because he has seen the end of his life that this guy is a warrior so every time you dream you see yourself conquering territories and you wake up and you're afraid and god says when will you begin to call yourself what i'm calling you we have called ourselves what our villages have called us i refuse to be named after my past i refuse to be named after my limitation i bear the name that symbolizes my authority and victory in christ am i challenging you tonight because we are going to pray he said oh mighty man of velo one more verse verse 14 and the lord looked upon him and said go in this so he had might although he was hiding and the bible tells us in ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 that it is according to the power that might that is in us it's always according to that might you are anointed are you listening to me let me let me walk up to some people behind and challenge them those who never feel that they are anointed sister you are more than anointed are you listening to me you are more than anointed are you listening to me i'm very serious i'm not just trying to preach you are really anointed you must have this revelation don't just stand and think these are the anointed men no you are not anointed because hands were laid on you you are anointed every time you come into partnership with the spirit hallelujah and you are above you are above do not allow the devil if you allow satan he will spit out your bones he will wreck your life refuse it you must stand and legislate hear me inside and outside the lord is challenging us tonight i see a mystery under the sun servants ride on horses while princes are walking afoot but that we need to change it i'm not alone i am with christ rise up on your feet seated with christ 
reigning with Christ. With his blood, he paid the price. Paid the price to bring us to that point of authority. Don't wait until you get into ministry. Challenge that sickness with Christ. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I am not a failure, professor. I can never be a failure. I refuse to be weak and beggarly. I want everybody to pray. This is not a prayer for men of God. Inside and outside. Prophesy. I reign in this life. I've been called out. Called out of every limitation. I've been called out by the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray. Declare. I am anointed. Say it. I am anointed. Say it. Declare. I am anointed. The Holy Ghost lives inside of me. I can heal the sick. I can cast out devils. My words are powerful. Producing results. I like you to pray. I can effect changes in my life. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Come on, pray in the spirit. We have been called out of every tribe, every tongue, every nation. I'm anointed. Above failure, above limitation. Come on, pray. It doesn't matter what you are seeing. It doesn't matter what you are seeing. You are a king seated with Christ, ready with Christ over your finances, over your health. With Christ. With Christ, with Christ, oh hallelujah, I'm unlimited, in the name of Jesus, I'm unlimited, by the power of the Holy Ghost, He lives in me, the Holy Ghost lives in me, come on pray, I have power with God, I have power with God, I am a blessing. Ah. Professor, I pray. They go praseka paria. Ran teke te bo sheke te ha. En cross ke paria naba. I receive and I walk in the fullness of all the blessings that are associated with ready with Christ. Divine health, prosperity, joy, peace, authority, favor, grace, glory. I am prosperous. I am blessed. I am well favored in Christ. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Over your family, declare. Over your family, declare. Over your finances, declare. I refuse to fear. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I have no fear of what tomorrow means. I'd like you to repeat it. I have no fear. I have no fear of what tomorrow means. I have no fear. I have no fear of what tomorrow means. I have no fear. Until 
Dios Prophesy No fear No fear Prophesy I have no fear I have no fear I have no fear Prophesy I have no fear It doesn't matter what the color is saying it doesn't matter what is happening. I just, I refuse to share. That although you are gentle like a dove, bold as a lion, I refuse to fear. Not failure, not limitation. I am a king. Prophesy to yourself. Say I'm royalty. I like a lady who came out and said I'm a princess. No inferiority. No inferiority. No complex. Let it die tonight. Let inferiority die. Let every complex die tonight. I'm the best that I can be. I am the best that I can be. Hallelujah. The best that I can be. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Hear me. Can I tell you something? When you walk in this consciousness, Satan will be far from you. No matter how a madman is, he doesn't enter fire. No matter how mad, people say he doesn't know, he will not know whether it's five naira or ten naira. Set fire and see if you will come and enter it. No matter how mad he claims to be, he knows what fire is. The Bible says he maketh his angels wind, spirit, and his ministers flames of fire. Can I tell you something? Refuse to allow the things that you see govern you. After, if I die of sickness today, the last word that will come out of my mouth is by his stripes, I am healed. I believe the word of God more than the result it will produce in my life. Are you listening to me? Hold the hands of somebody. Pair yourselves into two. We're going to take the last prayer point. Now, take it seriously. This is not the time to just be nice and try to check your wivon. We're going to pray. Listen. Listen. You are going to prophesy. Are you listening to me? Take it seriously. Some of you are just smiling. Hold the hands of somebody. Hallelujah. We are going to prophesy. You are going to speak. Now that you know you are anointed. Inside, outside. The Holy Ghost is there. Call the person blessed. Use your kingly authority. Come on, saints of God. Kings. Priest, command their morning, cause the stars, the constellations to align for their favor. And the stars fought for Deborah. And the stars fought for Deborah. We command nature. We command the elements, both in the realm of the spirit and in this realm, to align in your favor. Bringing you victory. Bringing you grace. Prophesy. Make sure you are speaking. You are blessed. You are the head. You are not the tail. You are above. You are not beneath. Death is far from your life. Sickness is far from your life. Poverty is far from your life. Whatever you touch is blessed. Whatever you touch is blessed. Blessings on your finances, on your spiritual life. Your ears are open to hear the voice of the Spirit. Your eyes are open to see realities in the realm of the Spirit. Every inferiority dies in your life. You are rising higher, higher. You are walking in favor. You are walking in glory. Prophesy. Speak over your neighbor. And watch the power of the authority 
of Christ in you at work. Whoever you bless is blessed. Whoever you speak upon is blessed. Come on, tell him you are blessed. You are blessed, blessed. Blessed beyond the curse. Break sickness from their lives. Break sickness from their lives. Break the bondage of sickness. The bondage of poverty. The bondage of failure. You do it. Don't wait for a man of God. You are anointed. Do it. Do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me, I declare that I am great. Inferiority dies from my life. I refuse to be inferior. I am above. Say it one more time. I'm above. Say I am anointed. I'm seated with Christ. I am royalty. I refuse sickness. I refuse poverty. I refuse failure. I embrace the glory of God. I embrace the grace of God. I am one with Christ. I am victorious in this life. I see no limitations. I am victorious. One more time. I am victorious. Give God a big shout of praise. Hallelujah. So, go back to your job. Go back to your class. Go back. Are you listening to me? Go back to your family members. Go back to your roommates. Go back to your class members. Go everywhere. And tell them a message. The message is that with Christ, you are above. That's the message. With Christ, you are above. Listen. It's an assignment. Throughout this week, it must be your confession. When you are walking, walk conscious of the fact that you are with Christ. And whatever was not permitted to be found in the life of the living Christ, refuse it. Reject it. People may criticize you. Reject it. They'll not be there to sympathize with you. Reject it. Don't wait for somebody to do it for you. There are people you'll be inviting to come for miracle service. There are some of them that the moment you call them, the Lord will give you a word of knowledge about their case. Don't sit down there and say, Hey, hey am I qualified? mercy qualifies you lay hands on the person and say thou devil and end comes whether they call you pastor or pastor's wife that's none of your business when they call you at home and say the landlord is coming to kick us out next week i like to say all right all i need you to do at home is cheer up you shut down your phone and say lord are you not called the father of spirits every man's spirit is in your care there are rich spirits on the earth. I call them. To my father. It's called the father of spirits. Hallelujah. There's one scripture we're going to be studying this week. Hallelujah. Job 22 verse 28. That's going to be our verse of study as we prepare for the miracle service. Job 22 verse 28. It says, And ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee please meditate i know many of you know the verse of heart but it has not changed your life that means the light has not entered your spirit hallelujah organize bible studies with it call your friends your enemy is the person that comes to distract you when you are studying that scripture hallelujah pray it i prayed about the creative power of the spoken word and i used Ezekiel chapter 37 when God was showing me 
I first saw it in the life of Bishop Oedeko. And I saw it in the life of Kenneth Copeland. He's not a very charismatic man who will lay hands on you. But if that man sends a word in your destiny, it will shatter your life and bring the Garden of Eden out of you. I said, Lord, there's something. There's something about this. And the Lord led me. He said, let me show you what I showed them. The Bible says he confirms the word of his messengers and performs the counsel. There's no word of a king that goes without. And that means there are many of you who are expert in using vulgar and ungodly language. Welcome architect. Everybody here is an architect from this night. When you design nonsense, the Lord will lift it before your eyes. Like what fell over Peter. And God will say, look at what you have been drawing. There are many of us who have been drawing rubbish. We speak every kind of thing. I'm a failure. It's not for people like us. Ah, that was a big head. Hallelujah. May God give you so that we'll get. What kind of prayer is that? Let me tell you something. So that you will know there are many prayers that have been prayed on your behalf that should be rejected. You just bend your head and shout amen to everything. I used to have a teacher in secondary school. And every time he wanted to bless us, he would say, may your road be rough. Yes. And it was, I didn't know it was a, all this sociology, philosophy, one madman somewhere brought something that may your road be rough means that you follow the path to destiny. But when I found out that my Bible was saying something else, I refused it. Lord, thank you for the mighty things that you are already doing in this place for the healings for the deliverances I have one assurance you will never go back the same hey. that I am convinced absolutely convinced that God will shake what needs to be shaken he will overturn what needs to be overturned he will release what needs to be released he will open what needs to be opened. Right. He will shut what needs to be shut. He will lift what needs to be lifted. If that, be, if that prophecy is for you, I like you to shout a big, 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 big hallelujah. something god will surprise many of you this night hear me hear me hear me i'm not just speaking because i want to communicate are you listening there is a strong anointing in this place god will surprise many of you he will beat your prayer requests Amen. by a factor you cannot recover Woo. hallelujah sing hallelujah to the lord Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Help me sing hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. 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 Father, we thank you for tonight. We are ready to celebrate the great things that you will be doing in this place. 
for it's by his spirit every time his presence is mighty in the midst of his people the portals of heaven are open over his people and he begins to release the blessings of the glory signs wonders miracles and all the manifestations of his spirit responding to the hunger of his people I know his mighty is his place hallelujah thank you Holy Spirit Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Come and make Your presence known We be here The glory Of the living God ha. Hey. Spirit of The Sovereign Lord Tonight your presence, no, reveal the glory of the reason, no. I hail you, I worship you. My God, hey, help me sing how I pray. My God, hold me, we'll see how I pray. How I pray, my God. Hey.
receive. Say, Lord, I partake. Lord, I partake. Lord, I partake. Say, Lord, I receive. Say, Lord, I receive. Lord, I partake. One more time. Lord, I receive. Say, Lord. presence of his spirit inside and outside majestic presence of God to heal to set free to transform to open new doors Father, we worship you. We bless your name. Oh, his presence is mighty. Moses said, accept your presence. Go with with us. That's the secret, his presence. Majestic presence, overwhelming his people in glory. All right, gloriously, King of Kings. Right, gloriously. Do wonders tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, listen, every time we come into his presence, there is a freshness of his glory. Hallelujah. And the first thing he puts in us is a hunger. That's why we sing, the more we know you, the more we want to know you, Jesus. More of you. If that's not your experience, you're truly not in his presence. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. I want more of you. That the more I know him, the more I want to know him, Jesus. More of you that the more I see his power, the more I want to know him, Jesus. More of you that the more I see your love. The more I want to know you, Jesus, more of 
of you more of you more of you that's my prayer tonight more of you Jesus more of you my cry tonight more more of your glory more of your power more of your wisdom that's our prayer tonight more give us more of your presence more of your miracles And I will say that you are good And all the miracles you've done has brought me joy And I am changed And all the hope I have I place in you right now Are you ready to help me sing? And I will sing And I will sing That you are good And all the miracles you've done has brought me joy and I am changed And all the hope I have I place in you right now Father we I want to start tonight by welcoming everyone to this awesome service, a miracle service for the month of September. This is not a tradition, this is not a ritual. We're responding obediently to a prophetic instruction that God gave us. Hallelujah. I want to welcome as many of us who have come from far and near in and around Zaria and other parts, other states I want you to know that you will never be disappointed some of you have come trusting God to see his miracle working power in your bodies you will not be disappointed some of you have come to let the fire engulf you so you take it back to your ministries, to your churches. God will not disappoint you. Some of you have come with a sincere hunger to press for more of Him. God will not disappoint you. Some of you have come because you're tired and frustrated. It's a result of the vicissitudes of life. Tonight you will find rest. Hallelujah. That's why this prophetic meeting was put together by the Lord to reach out to us, to cause us to experience dimensions of His love and of His grace. And so I welcome you. His mighty presence is in this place. And truly we are serving the living God. That's why we are confident of the things that he will be doing. Tonight he will be releasing all kinds of blessings. Stepping us into new dimensions and new planes in the spirit. Hallelujah. I'll do a short teaching to just set, to set faith in our spirits. Then we release ourselves and experience the goodness and the touch of God in this place so walk up to three or four people tell them welcome keep your expectations high tell them welcome and keep your expectations high inside and outside keep your expectations high
Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want to just show us something from God's word to set the atmosphere for the things that the Holy Ghost is going to be doing in this place. How many of you know that all that will happen here and all that is already happening is on account of His glorious presence? Hallelujah. Um, I like to appreciate the senior pastor of this great assembly for granting us permission to use the auditorium and for his kindness pastor emmanuel please i'd like us to just welcome him up stage hallelujah humble servant of god honor to whom honor is due god bless you sir hallelujah now please look up i'm going to be explaining something very powerful and i need our hearts to be open hallelujah i need our hearts to be open so that we can catch what the spirit of god is doing tonight hallelujah a lot of people have thought in their or in our quests to unlock the mysteries of the healing power and the miracle working power of jesus christ so many people have thought of different things all from scripture as to what principles must be in place to experience the miracle working power of Jesus Christ hallelujah and many have taught about the power of the word hallelujah how that the anointing of God's spirit proceeds from the word of God and others have taught about the power of the name the name of Jesus how that at the mention of that name every knee will bow yet others have attributed the workings of the miraculous to the presence and the anointing of the Holy Spirit and while all of this is true um, men in the body have failed to understand the relationship between the Word of God the name and the authority of Jesus Christ and the ministry of the Holy Spirit in bringing the miraculous to our lives and that's what I'm going to share very briefly hallelujah because many people have rejected the ministry of the Holy Spirit and embraced what we call the word now we have said we are holding on to the word and then many have had very little success in the operation of the miraculous and others have left the word and said it's just the name of Jesus and like the sons of Sceva, they have shouted the name of Jesus again and again with little or no results. Hallelujah. Yet others have rejected the principles of the word of God and of the authority of the name of Jesus and have just opened up and said it's just the Holy Spirit. So who is right and who is wrong? Hallelujah. I need you to first and foremost understand that the character of God is such that all the workings of the spirit and of the kingdom work harmoniously are you listening to me you cannot replace one with another they complement themselves and very briefly i'm going to be showing you how they find their place in the operation of the spirit so let's talk about the word of god the bible says in hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 turn quickly hebrews chapter 4 such a strong presence of the holy spirit in this place your presence makes me whole hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 the bible says the word of god is alive and full of power so there's no controversy that the word of god is full of power say amen, amen. the word of god is alive full of power full of potency the Bible says he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them from all their destructions. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 10 and 11 the Bible says that as the rain comes down and, uh, and produces dew upon the grass so shall my word be that proceeds from my mouth shall not return to me void 
talking about the power and the potency of God's word hallelujah so we understand that everything in the kingdom the operation of the miraculous has the word of God as its foundation therefore whatever you are doing if it's outside of the word and the principles of God you can never have the manifestation of the miraculous are you following me the foundation for true miracles is that everything must be consistent with the promises of God with the instructions of God and with the principles of God that's where the word of God comes into play I've taught us here that the word of God contains the word of God gives us three things basically promises instructions hallelujah and principles the promises that God has put in his word and so we find in his word that by his stripes we are healed we find in his word that um it's his desire to prosper us spirit soul and body we find in his word that we have authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy so the word of god gives us information the word of god gives us the knowledge that we need to operate in the miraculous so you see the miraculous is not a a haphazard manipulation of spiritual laws are you listening to me the miraculous is an orderly execution of god's patterns and his principles that when the principles of god's word are followed to the latter you cannot but experience the mighty working power of his spirit and so the word of god has its place it becomes the foundation of everything that we do hallelujah so that all of the operation of the miraculous is within the boundaries of the word and the character of the spirit that way we will be able to run away from the operation of familiar spirits because familiar spirits will operate in a way that may look like god but because of the foundation of god's word we will be able to decipher and then understand that these are not operations that are consistent with the character of the kingdom hallelujah and so the word of god is the foundation for the miraculous you want to walk in the miraculous or you want to begin to release miracles you must be an ardent student of the word not just cramming verses but to have an understanding of the patterns of the kingdom hallelujah for every time the house is built according to pattern the glory of god will show up his glory shows up as a proof that it has been built according to pattern and so the word of god gives us god's pattern his principle of operation the word of god gives us knowledge and it gives us understanding the bible says the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding to the simple hallelujah no matter how full of the holy ghost you are no matter how um charismatic and apostolic you are the word of god must become the foundation of the miraculous say after me the word of god it's the foundation of the miraculous so where then does the holy spirit come in where does the name of jesus coming because it looks like the word of god is all of it hallelujah the job of the word is to inform us the word of god informs us it gives us the orientation it aligns our mindsets to god's principles and it prepares our hearts the word of god prepares the platform for obedience because without a word you cannot obey are you listening to me if i ask you to come you are coming because you receive the word is that correct every time there is no word there is no platform for obedience and when there is no obedience there is no manifestation hallelujah so the word of god gives us an opportunity to obey god so when god begins to send his word your direction then you realize that it's time for you to begin to celebrate miracles because his word prepares your heart the word of god will always demand obedience always the word of god does not just produce automatic results it will demand obedience on your own part hallelujah there are so many people who love god's word but are not willing to take steps of obedience and until you take steps of obedience you will not truly experience the miracle working power of god say amen 
Hallelujah. Number two, the name. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. Let's turn there very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to get this simple revelation to prepare the platform for the awesome things that Jesus will be doing in this place. Verse 5. Let this mind, the word let there is permit. Permit this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of of God taught it not robbery to be equal with God. The literal translation there says, taught it not a thing to be grasped or a thing to be held unto. It says, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient. There you see obedience again. Unto death and even the death of the cross. Verse 9. Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above, not equal to, not equal with, above every other name. So there are names, but there is a name that is above them all. Every sickness is a name. Every disease is a name. Every oppression is a name. But the Bible says there is a name that has been highly elevated above them. And the Bible says at the mention of that name, the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. And it says, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, the master, the owner, to the glory of God the Father. So there is power in the name of Jesus. Hear me the name of jesus is the power is not in the pronunciation are you listening to me the kingdom of god is such that when jesus rose again all authority was vested in his person are you listening to me so when we talk about the name we are not just talking about j-e-s-u-s we are talking about standing in his office in his authority hallelujah the power of the name is where we get the word exousia. The power of attorney. The capacity to function in the office of another. Hallelujah. So the word of God must be declared in the name of Jesus. That means it must be declared with the consciousness that we are standing in the office of Christ as ambassadors here on earth. For every time you declare God's word and it's outside of the name it's important the realm of the spirit only answers to the name so every time you speak when you speak in the name it becomes the same thing as God speaking the owner of that name takes responsibility for what you are saying are you listening to me if you stand and declare and say be free because you are Joshua Selman there's, there's no reason why the realm of the spirit should obey you but if you say in the name i stand as touching the authority and the office of the king and on that basis i make decree god the owner of that name and the owner of the authority makes it a point of reference to back his word according to jeremiah 1 verse 12 are you understanding how they function so it's not enough to speak the word the word must be spoken in the name standing in his office realizing that i'm not speaking as me i'm standing representing the parliament of heaven i have been given an authorization by the king himself his holy spirit in me being proof that i have been authorized and when i speak to demons and situations i tell them in the name of jesus be lifted what they see in the realm of the spirit is not me the owner of the name shows up and says you had my word it's not the word of the servant of god it's god's word through the lips of faith there are too many believers making confessions making decrees but they are not making decrees in the name hallelujah be healed be delivered be set free i command your life to change and nothing happens in the realm of the spirit because the realm of the spirit is an orderly realm 
there is only one name that has been exalted it's an office hallelujah it's an office if good lord jonathan calls me today and decides to confer the title of a general in the army whether or not i have the experience of a general the moment i put on that uniform standing in that office i can make decrees and every other rank has to submit is that correct when you realize that you have the highest name every in the realm of the spirit submission is according to strata and authority and so when you tell satan bow he will say by by what authority what's your position in the realm of the spirit that warrants this kind of order and then he said let me tell you i am seated seated with christ in heavenly places far above your name and your situation my name may be joshua selman but in the realm of the spirit the voice you hear is the voice of christos the anointed because i'm not speaking of myself i am speaking as touching his authority so when we say satan enough is enough over this person's life yahweh the owner of that name steps in according to jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 amplified says he is alert and active watching over his word not your word his word he only performs his word many of us have been speaking our word that's why there's no performance so you heal in the name declaring the word in his name so the word of god without the name of jesus is important no matter what version you quote it from hallelujah you tell a demon rise up i mean stand up be on your feet and go out he will not go just because you spoke grammar the sons of skiva thought he was just about declaring the word and they gathered the man who was possessed with demons and said we adore you hallelujah they made that declaration but in the realm of the spirit they were speaking of themselves and as a result the demon proved to them that he was not blind enough to see the structure in the realm of the spirit and that's going to be the basis you see why we are confident of the things that god will be doing because we are standing in the name hmm. we are singing in the name we are praying in the name we are releasing people from bondage in the name so we declare the word in the name john chapter 14 very quickly thank you for the blessed office that that name carries brings us to a position where we do not just speak empty words jesus himself said this in verse 12 john 14 verse 12 and whatever ye ask in my name that will i do whatever ye what ask in my name as touching my authority whatever you ask in my name that's verse 13 that i will do that the father may be glorified in the son 14 it says if he ask anything in my name in my name as touching my office as touching my authority i will do the bible says that all authority had been conferred upon him and he gave us that authority the ability to stand in his stead and to make decrees in the earth realm and he assures us that it will be established so the word of god is god's instrument of operation but the word is not potent in itself until it is spoken from the standpoint of the name hallelujah 
let's quickly talk about the spirit how does the anointing of the holy ghost come into play how does the ministry of the holy spirit come into play hallelujah luke chapter 4 blessed father thank you see every time i begin to talk about the holy ghost i sense his presence verse 16 and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up to read 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found there the place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me the spirit of the Lord has overwhelmed me and he that spirit has anointed me and as a result of that anointing I will do the following to heal the sick to bind the brokenhearted to preach deliverance hallelujah so every time the word is spoken as touching the office of christ the anointing of the spirit responds the anointing of the spirit moves in the direction of that word that means when you say be healed it's the anointing for healing that will move when you say be healed the anointing for prosperity will not move because the anointing responds to the word that was spoken he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth Acts chapter 10 verse 38 with the Holy Ghost and with power he went about doing good how did he do the good by speaking but the Bible says it was the anointing that was responsible so every time he spoke as touching the authority of his father the anointing was released in the direction of whatever he was saying this is the secret of the miraculous the harmonious working of the word of God the authority of his name and the anointing of the spirit hallelujah every time you speak the word you release the manifestation of the spirit Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2 the Bible says that and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the spirit entered in response to the word and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet the spirit entered me John chapter 6 verse 63 it says it is the spirit that gives life the flesh profited nothing the words that I speak unto you they are spirit although I'm speaking the agency of operation in the realm of the spirit is the manifestation of the Holy Ghost so when you say be healed it's not just the word b-e-h-e-a-l-e-d that makes it happen that you are saying be healed standing in the office of Christ the Holy Ghost who represents the continuation of the ministry of Jesus on earth responds with his power and his presence the harmonious walking of the word standing in the name of Jesus and allowing the Holy Spirit to find expression so when you see us just saying Holy Spirit thank you for your anointing we are not replacing the word we are saying by reason of your anointing we are sure that the moment we begin to speak how come is when we begin to speak that there is a rapid manifestation of his power because the anointing responds to the word they were ever supposed to act in antagonism to one another you can't say i choose the word what are you choosing or i choose authority me it's just jesus christ hallelujah in genesis chapter one the bible says there was darkness and chaos the holy ghost was hovering around ready to release the power but nothing could happen because the word had not been spoken and god said the word immediately the holy spirit went into motion and there was light that's the, the same way when we say be healed the holy ghost is already in this place strong with his power we are gathered under the authority of jesus so
so you can be sure that he is in her midst when we begin to make decrees and rebuke Satan the power of the Holy Spirit the operation of angels and all of the manifestations in the realm of the spirit begin to happen in response to our word brothers and sisters this is the dynamics of the operation of the miraculous and tonight we have the living word of God what does that word tell us that is God's desire for you to be sick is that what it says is that what the word says that is God's desire for you to be poor that is God's desire for you to be weak that is God's desire for you to be oppressed is that what it says Jeremiah 1 I mean um, 11 29 verse 11 it says I know the thoughts I think towards you said the Lord my thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end the Bible says no inhabitant of Zion shall say I am sick hallelujah said upon Mount Zion there shall be healing and deliverance and the people of God will possess their possession so the word of God tells us the mind of God for tonight's meeting the word of God tells us that God is in the business of healing are you listening to me so that we can align with what God is doing the word of God tells us that he's willing to heal and to deliver he says I wish above all things that ye prosper and be in health is God's will and desire to bless us said I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy he said nothing shall by any means harm you so the word of God has told us already the mind of God concerning tonight's meeting there's no point asking God is it your will this cancer has been there so what the word of God tells us the mind of God it tells us God's opinion is it your will for me to be living from hand to mouth no sir the word of God gives us a revelation of God's perspective about your life the doctor said you have a terminal disease what does the word of God say he said I said before you life and death I said before you blessing and cursing he said choose life that you may live so your life is not tied to any sickness there are many of us who believe that sickness comes from God it's a nice way of just helping us and training us so why are you looking for a miracle if you believe it comes from God because you'll be opposing what God is doing then hallelujah many people say well I don't believe in miracles the day you need one you will believe in miracles hallelujah the day the doctors tell you I'm sorry on that day you will truly believe that he's a miracle worker how about oppression many of us have been under all kinds of bondages by Satan but the Bible says he that cometh from above is above all above all all means all all means all Ephesians chapter 1 tells us that we are being raised together with Christ above thrones above dominions and every name that is named both in this age and in the age to come so the word of God gives us a revelation of God's opinion about tonight's meeting and I bring you a message of hope and healing I don't care what situation you came here with I know that many of us came with um, requests and prayers we have some that have been sent all over the nation people sending in their honest requests but don't just come and say God can you heal me can you can you not no 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 for he is able Oh, God is able. He defeated Satan. It wasn't a combat. It was a flawless victory. Now that you know that he's able, is he willing? Oh, yes, he is. He's willing for it's consistent with his character of love. Every manifestation of love is giving in nature. 
and so he, because he loves us he wills to heal us we are standing as touching the name and the office of Jesus Christ and tonight I want you to know that he is here I am not him the mighty one himself is here and as touching his authority we are going to be releasing people into the glorious promises that God has for them and I am happy that my senior friend and partner in ministry is in this place the glorious Holy Spirit the beautiful Spirit of God the one who comes to turn every wilderness into a fruitful vine and every fruitful vine into a forest the one who brings beauty and glory the one who supplies the anointing hear me the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the anointing it's impossible to have the anointing without him the one who gives direction gives direction the one who will grant us abilities shortly we are going to be operating in the gifts of the spirit it's not our gift it's his gift freely flowing satire. the one who sees the secrets of the hearts of men it's called the Holy Ghost the spirit of the living God the one who will begin to touch you and shock you at the point of your need we are confident of his great presence and the power of his voice for I said in Isaiah 30 you will hear a voice from behind and that great voice is here to speak and direct us to walk according to the word the aim of this meeting is not just for you to receive miracles for yourself but to be empowered so that you will be a dispenser of the miracle working power of Jesus Christ hallelujah that's what the Lord is going to be doing I am so happy now you know there's no magic there's no abracadabra about the miraculous no the harmonious workings of the rhema of God the spoken word that word that is conveyed standing under the office of the Christ himself the Holy Spirit bearing witness in signs and wonders that's what gives us confidence and I'm happy for his glorious presence how many of you are ready for what he will be doing how many of you have had faith rise up in your spirit I don't care what the sickness is I don't care what the oppression is whether you are standing in for your loved ones or not I don't care what the situation is lack poverty death everything that represents darkness will bow to the name of the Christ the living God terminal diseases will die all kinds of oppressions will give way and many of you will live here with a fire in your spirit that with this spiritual understanding you will find yourself dispensing the miracles of God are you ready for what God is doing in this place oh I'm excited in my spirit my father thank you for the wonders the operation of your spirit the outburst of the miraculous in this place we give you all the praise and we ask in the name of Jesus that everyone in this place comes under the authority of the Holy Spirit and under the influence of his anointing that as the word is spoken let it convey the miraculous power of the Holy Spirit into your life rise up on your feet go ahead and begin to pray Rakapa teka paliya kato sata. 
Come on, bless him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for your spirit. Tell God now is the time for that tumor to disappear. For that blindness to go, that bone condition to go, that deafness to leave. Now is the time for the reign of Satan and evil to go once and for all. Once and for all. There's no contention between light and darkness. Come on, The time is here. The word of God is strong in our midst. His authority is mighty upon us. And his anointing is strong to heal and to deliver. Come on, pray. Say, Lord, I came here for business tonight. God is already doing great and mighty things. Be thou and through on high and through on high and through. My God, get set. I sense the power of God strong. Be thou and through on high. sing this song one more time hear me one more time as you lift up your voice there are 11 people that the power of God will come mightily upon let's have those people 11 people the Lord shows me as you lift up I see fire just swirling in the atmosphere be thou and throw, be thou and throw, on high and throw.
Pastor's authority. upon many of you in this row, this row right now, this row, this side, now, 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 the power of God will begin to move across this row, I see the angels of God, across this row, across this row, across this row, right now, at the back, in front, right now, across this row, a massive protection, a strong fire, a strong fire, it will engulf your spirit. Let that girl go now. Hold on. Leave her. Leave her.
out of her now out of her now come out of her 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 that devil come out of her sataka tebo kusia shapata ne bau shakapata i parata sakapata ne bau shakata la bara badai repo sakapata ne bau shakapata no enchantment and no divination hallelujah hear me the lord is showing me families here I really want us to be as fast as we can because the ministers are also going to minister. I see some of you here. I don't know what I'm God is showing me a river and I'm seeing a lady your parents go to that river and do something very diabolic and demonic and it has been affecting you. Hallelujah. You are in the congregation. When I shout five, I make five counts. The power of God is going to come upon that person and you will be free. That's what God shows me. One, two, three, four, five. Total freedom. Total freedom. Total freedom. Total freedom for that person. Total freedom. Those devilish. Total freedom. Bring the lady. You are free, my dear. Free. Please bring her. I set you free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now you are free from that oppression. Oppression you cannot even explain, not knowing where it's coming from. Be free now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Bone conditions. Bone conditions. Bone conditions. Bone conditions. Kabaseka porasika. Any kind of bone condition. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every kind of bone condition. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Hold on. Come. God is not done with you yet. For you don't know what you are being delivered from. Let me tell you something. God is setting a great deliverance for you. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I want you to look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just maintain your gaze and look at my eyes. Something is happening to you. You will be totally, totally free. Hmm. You know my voice. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. Be free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I see some ladies here having ovarian cyst. For two of you, it's at the initial stage. You've been feeling pains. You think it's appendicitis. The Holy Spirit tells me ovarian cyst. Hallelujah right now in the name of the lord jesus be free be healed be made whole right now in the 
the name of Jesus Christ. Ovarian ceased. There's a woman. Okay, not one person. I think about two people. You brought the picture. The picture. You came here with a picture of your loved one or your daughter or something. Not a, Please don't just come out carelessly. There are two people God is showing me. Who is that person? Who is that? You? Where is the picture? Lift it up. Come. Where is the second person? There's another person. Where is the picture? What is wrong with them? Because she's my ex-girlfriend. She's your ex-girlfriend? Yes, sir. Are you born again? Yes, sir. Very born again? Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord of your life. What is wrong with her? Nothing is wrong with her, sir. Nothing? Yes, sir. You just brought her a picture? Yes, sir. Is she here? No, sir. Hold on, hold on, my dear. God is doing a work in your family. Whose picture is this? My dad. Your dad? Yes, sir. What is wrong with him? Since when he went for his mother's burial, he came back from the village with illness. He came back with illness? Yes, sir. Let me see the picture. I'm sure more words will be coming. I'll give the minister some opportunity. I want us to finish very, very fast. Is this the only... That's his picture too? My mom. This is your mom? Yes, sir. What is wrong with her? Nothing. I just came with the picture. Okay. Your dad is sick right now? Yes, sir. Look at me. Look at me. Open your eyes. You believe you can stand in for him? Yes, sir. And receive what's wrong with him he's not just feeling fine you are going to hold this picture okay, as soon as you touch this picture the power of God will run through you and hit your dad right where he is I listen to me listen that's what God is giving me just touch the picture just hold it that's the instruction God as soon as be careful as soon as you, it will be a strong anointing upon you that's what I'm sensing hold the picture Hold the picture. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The power of God touches your father right where he is. We command healing, instant healing right now for him. Father, we pray that this lady will know the Lord and will walk in her ways. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, John. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord asked me to speak these words. While I was praying to my closet, the Lord says, For I'm uncovering their plot. He said, And lead us. He said, leaders in this country, he said, certain leaders will be brought to the law as a result of assassinations and terrorism in this country. I was praying and God began to speak to me and asking me to pray about the independent celebration of tomorrow. God says for this hour, he said, I'm listening to the prayer of the president of this nation. He said, even as Nigeria enters into our 51 anniversary, our independence anniversary God says I'll cause the prayer of David in Psalm 51 to be answered in his life God says for as many that can stand on their watch as watchman tonight he gave me the instruction to stand from 1130 and pray into the 51st anniversary of this nation he said for as many watchmen that will stand and pray tonight into the celebration he said I'll avert evil tidings in this nation the bible say pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper that love thee and we declare tonight that peace within our walls and prosperity in our palaces Amen. in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm seeing an infant baby a little baby fair i don't know if there's anybody who brought a baby like that god wants me to pray for that baby i'm seeing a little fair baby an infant baby for I see the spirit of infirmity coming upon that baby. 
from outside inside you came with a little baby i'm seeing that baby god asked me to pray for that baby where's that baby ushers please help us i see a spirit of infirmity come upon a little fair baby father we thank you we thank you lord jesus we thank you lord we thank you we give you praise we thank you because this baby's life shall be spared we cause the spirit of infirmity tonight we cause the spirit of infirmity tonight we declare that this baby's life is preserved by the anointing of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus for i hear the lord says i open the door for his father i see certain limitations i see certain hindrances and frustration that he has experienced even around the works of his hand god says i'm opening doors tonight god says i'm opening doors tonight god says i'm wiping your tears while i give you a new song tonight says the spirit of the lord oh thank you jesus thank you father lord we give you praise my sister look at me god says even that abdominal pain excruciating pain that comes upon you even in this area god says he's bringing deliverance lift up your hands look at me look at me lift up your hands you you lord i pray for her right now i command deliverance to come right now in the name of jesus god says i'm even causing doors of marriages that have been sure to be opened over your family in the name of jesus god says doors of marriages are opening tonight god says i break that limitation i break it tonight in the name of the lord jesus god says your family will begin to celebrate because marriages are coming watch it and see the word of the lord being fulfilled in your family in the name of the lord jesus that course is averted lord we give you praise Basically, just lift up your hands. Let me pray for you. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that you leave this place whole. We declare that infirmity will not find its root in your body anymore. We declare that your back will not touch the hospital bed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm saying somebody, like while you were born, some cuts, marks were given to you in your body and certain incantations were done. And this is what has been responsible for misfortune that you have been experiencing in your life. Certain circles of evil that has been coming to you. Where are you? Just stretch out your hand. He's a guy. Where are you? Just come. I want to pray for you right now. God says that yoke will be broken over your life. Where is that person? Please just. Lord, I pray that those marks, those marks of incantation that was put over your body that is responsible. For the evil i declare it broken right now I declare freedom to you in the name of jesus i declare you delivered in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm hearing the lord give me the name charles i declare over you in the name of jesus that those marks of evil are broken i declare freedom and liberty to you right now in the name of jesus be free Charles, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your hands where you are. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you are rolling away those limitations. I declare open door for him in the name of Jesus. The Lord says open door comes to you right now. God says that place that you have experienced frustration, God says is about to give you victory right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mrs. Williams, just lift your hands. God says, I'm answering your prayer tonight. God says, I'm bringing the desires of your hands, the desires of your heart into your hands. He said, from now henceforth, the intimacy that you have desired with my spirit, you begin to see it like never before. God says, stretch your hand. Just put your hand like this. I see the Lord says, you begin to see the anointing to heal come upon your life. As you minister to people, you begin to see the anointing to bring healing upon their life. I declare it. Take it right now. I declare the anointing to come into your hands. Let the fire of God burn into you right now. Burn, burn, burn in the name of Jesus. Bridget, lift up your hands. 
God says, I'm anointing your fruits tonight. He said, I bring acceleration to your fruits. In the name of Jesus, take it. Refine as fire, take it upon your life in the name of Jesus. Among the people that Apostle was praying for for bone condition, I see somebody, the injury that you have in your bone came as a result of an accident, a car accident. You had a car accident and you have injuries somewhere inside your body. Just lift up your hands. A car accident. A car accident that left you with an injury. A car accident that left you with an injury. Put your hands there right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I release your healing virtue. Be healed, be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Like on God says, it's a door of opportunity that I'm open for you in this season. God says within now and December, watch and see the opportunities that will come for you in your sound work who amaze you to be more than you have ever experienced in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anu, I want to pray. I heard the Lord says, I'm averting that conspiracy over your dad. I don't know what's happening around him right now. I don't know that which has been happening that is a concern to your family. But God says, I'm averting a conspiracy. God says, and I'm bringing a testimony and your family shall celebrate. I release that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Celebration come. The conspiracy is averted. I see that it even has to do with his work. Only look at me. I see that it has to do with his work. Certain people have teamed up against him in his place of work. Am I saying it? Yes, sir. Certain people have teamed up against him in his place of work to lift him down, to bring him down. But God says, I'm causing that spirit to be averted today. And God is bringing a testimony to your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Just, just before, sorry, one minute. Do we have any Stephen Daniels in this place? From the time I stood up here, I've been hearing Stephen Daniels. Stephen Daniels. That's your supervisor. Stephen Daniels. I've been hearing Stephen Daniels from the time I sat down. Stephen Daniels. I don't know who he is, but I hear the Lord said that he's bringing rapid increase and restoration for Stephen Daniels I don't know I don't know who Stephen Daniels is but I've seen that the man has been oppressed by people again and again God is showing me that he has been oppressed the Lord is saying tell Stephen I Daniels I'm bringing him rapid restoration and increase hallelujah can you come down please, please when when the worship was on I was sitting there and the Holy Spirit began to speak to me about what is going to be doing in the, to the church in the area of finance. I saw the, the Lord open my eyes and I saw angels in charge of finance, in charge of uh, wealth and uh, prosperity being released in the church like never before. And I saw something like a, up, a, something like a, a, in the shape of a stone, like a diamond, being dispersed to the eyes. There's a, lady, there's a black lady sitting the black lady by the camera there you there you there yeah i saw something like a diamond being given to you during worship and i know it has to do with prosperity to your family to your family i hear that the lord said it's going to be releasing a prosperity anointing upon the church like never before and the lord told me that one of the things is going to require from each and every one of us is obedience so when you're talking about obedience it confirmed what god told me and I was asking the Lord, what about, uh, uh, what role does uh, faith, does the fear of the Lord, does holiness and everything does? And the Lord told me that if we just obey Him, by obeying Him we will live in holiness, by obeying Him we will walk in faith, and by obeying Him we will fear Him. So the Lord said it's going to be releasing wealth to the church like never before. And also Reverend Ima. Can you come to the front? When Apostle 
asked uh, the usher to bring you to the, to the stage, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the Lord opening a door for you to travel out. And the Lord said, He has seen your faithfulness. Even you, you and your wife have seen how you have managed a lot of little, little resources. The Lord said, He has tested you. He has seen your integrity. He has seen your faithfulness. He will reward you. And also, my brother, during the worship, when the choir was worshiping, I saw an angel of the Lord changing your clothes. You, I, see, I saw an angel of the Lord changing your garment. Changing your garment. I don't know what that means. But I know the Lord is going to do something in your family. And also, there's a, there's a lady that has a, a challenge with the chest, a chest, uh, a problem with the chest. It's a periodic problem that normally comes to the chest. I see the Lord extending healing power upon you. Okay, it's, it's bronchitis. Okay. I see the Lord doing a healing upon you. And also, there was a guy who prayed for uh, Apostle last time, a guy that was involved, is involved in this student uh, uh, politics. I don't know whether you are here. Well, a guy that was involved in the student politics, that a, a president of the present president of our session school. Come out here, come out. I'll tell you what the Lord just come. In a vision, I saw, in the, when I was sitting there, I saw in the vision, I saw three men, three men with uh, white, I believe they are Malo people, outside guys with Open your eyes and look at me. I saw three men with mustache setting a conspiracy against you in place of decision. As a decision that is going to come to you to take uh, this very semester, the first semester of uh, next session. Are we in the session already? Uh -huh. I see there's a decision that will, that will involve uh, uh, the student relationship with the school, I mean with the school authority. I saw three men with mustache try to set a conspiracy against you and the Lord said it's going to give you mouth and wisdom is going to give you grace and keep you in integrity please can you step for your hands and pray for him Father we pray you keep him Lord Father I pray you keep him Lord I say you keep him Lord we pray you keep him in integrity Keep him in integrity. In Jesus' name. Now, still not Reverend Ima, I see a recommendation. Somebody is going to be recommending you somewhere. Somebody is going to be recommending you somewhere, and the Lord says he's going to grant, grant you favor. In Jesus' name. You Can you come? You, the lady there, I saw something like a diamond being given to you. A dark lady there behind Jordan. God is going to be releasing unusual prosperity and anointing upon the church. I even saw little children. At the age of 9, 10, playing with diamonds. And the Lord referred me. And the Lord referred me to the book of Psalm, chapter 24, verse 1. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the Lord said, if only we we'll walk in obedience to him, if only we we'll walk in obedience with him. If only we we'll walk in obedience, if only we we'll walk in obedience, we shall eat the good of the land. Father Lord, even concerning the family, even uh, the crisis that that is happening in the family that was at a direct result of financial challenges, Lord, is answered in Jesus' name. We call forth wealth, unmeasurable wealth to your family in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sorry, who is Janet? Who is Janet? Do we have any Janet in this place? Come. Look at me. Where is your father? What does he do? He works with ABU. Yes, sir. For how long has he been due for promotion? Mm, he's retiring next year. He's retiring next year. Yes, Do you know that the the position he's in now, he's supposed to be have been he's supposed to have been promoted um long 
to another uh, what do I call it now another step another promotion but people have been conspiring against him and I've been seeing uh, I'm, I'm seeing right now that something good was supposed to come to him last year and then there were people that stepped in the Lord is saying I should tell you that she will use you to bring a miracle to your family now don't don't doubt how it's going to happen just believe what I'm telling you alright the Lord is going to use you to bring a miracle to your family I'm hearing Godia. Anybody with the name Godia, whether you or your loved one, I'm hearing Godia. Do we have anyone inside, outside Godia? God has a word for that lady. Who is the person? Run, come. That's your name. That's your name, Godia. Is your name Godia? Well, I know you to be Sarah. So, uh, an attack of uh, Hallelujah. Uh, Godia, I saw like an attack upon you, and I, I the, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord upon me. I mean, they called Godia. I saw you in particular walking in cycle. And the Lord said it's going to bring deliverance to you. And it's good, the deliverance is going to be permanent. What the Lord said. Look at me. Let me surprise you. Look up. He's a tall young man. He will meet you in white. He will be wearing a blue tie. That's your husband. Yes, yes it's true. It's true, sir. It's true. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. That's that's and that's it's true. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. That the Lord will bring a great restoration to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um the Lord told me about some conditions, people with blood challenges okay you have blood challenges different kinds of challenges to your blood whether it's a sickle cell or something in your your blood system different terminal diseases in your blood please quickly come the lord began to tell me that change the seed okay change the seed and change the tree hallelujah so it's from the seed from their blood system we'll be trusting the lord to do a thorough job in you to change it. Do you understand me? Hallelujah. And now the Lord began to show me a particular case. Um, especially a young man. You gave yourself, you, you like watching horror films, especially vampire films. It's beginning to affect you terribly. I see it drawing you close to coffins. Okay. We'll quickly come out. Then I see words of knowledge for people with um, pains on their joints, just their ankles, specifically ankles. Ankles, you have pains on your ankles, quickly come out. Then I see the word for, there's somebody here, it's like a block on your, your neck and your head just here. You feel such pain, strong pains, like a block. Quickly come out. The Lord began to tell me he's going to be releasing, releasing fire into our hearts, to the hearts of so many people. Mokta specifically, the Lord says he's going to be imparting fire into your heart, to your heart in this meeting. Hallelujah. Go ahead. We'll be praying for you. Please, let's just lay hands on them. Uh, you, madam, you come. I see the Lord giving you a, see, a job. As Please, as they lay hands on you, the power of God will come I upon just you. Just stay there. Don't come, don't come close. Stay far. I see the Lord giving you a walk, a very good walk. You've been asking him, you've been praying and asking him to do something. And he said that he has answered your cry and he's going to give you a walk before the year, year runs out. A good walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Okay, um, when John first stood here and was giving a prophetic word for the nation, um, I didn't want to say it, but God asked me to say it. Last, last year, I had a vision, a real vision. I was there, and I saw the coffin of a prominent presidential figure. I saw that he died and they were taking him and the Lord says it's happening soon this country is going to lose a prominent presidential figure on account of their wickedness and things against God God will bring judgment write it it will happen hallelujah God will bring judgment God will bring great judgment great judgment great judgment hallelujah i want to pray i'm really trying to ensure that we beat time we can flow um let me invite Mr. white is god showing you anything yes let me just invite Mr. white is god showing you anything hallelujah um i was led to do this and thank god he called me up the bible says when the judgments are upon the earth the inhabitants of the land they learn righteousness now i want us to do this it's very prophetic it's very very prophetic some of you have been passing through so much in your families so much pains and so much afflictions by the enemy we're going to do this very prophetic all the ministers who are going to join our hands and we're going to rain judgments upon all the things that have limited you for for so long for so long it's enough enough is enough when the judgments of the lord are upon the earth the inhabitants of the land they learn righteousness wherever that um, affliction is coming from listen to me some of you you will hear the news you will hear the news from your villages and from wherever the affliction is coming from you are going to hear the news we are going to rain judgment upon all the afflictions of the enemy. Praise God. That's just what I, I was led to do. And I heard that very clearly in my spirit. Please, Hallelujah. let's join our hands together and do this, please. Okay, go ahead and let's pray. Let's do that quickly. Shaka in justice your people oh God banta bakosata bregata balarabosh rakata tabaraka tabaga segede balarabosh Lord, let the affliction end over the lives of your people. We forbid the scourging tongues of men in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. As I was uh, standing there, the Lord began to tell me something about heart condition. And as he was listening to me, I suddenly saw an angel. Uh, listen, whether you are uh, standing for someone or you are here with a heart condition, as, as the Lord was listening to me, I didn't just see healing. I see an angel with a heart all right new heart and as i was still pondering over it suddenly i discovered the angels who are three of them three angels with a heart in their hands i don't know who you are outside and inside just receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now supernatural heart transplant now 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 in the name of jesus that's one number two I asked this uh, our sister that will have a baby to stay behind. I don't know. At the song, there's a woman I see that is, you are, it's like you are desperate. Desperately need of a child. Please, wherever you are, please. The Lord said you should just come and carry this baby. You just say, come and carry this baby. Whatever you are, I don't know. Just come. In the name of you, standing for someone, please just come. 
Can you this baby? I say a miracle. It's a miracle. Yes, I say woman. It's a woman. It's a woman. Hold on. How baby. many of you want to hold the baby? For yourself or for your loved ones? In the name no, of No, no, no. Listen, listen. Stop laughing. This is a prophetic instruction. We are going to pray for all those who are trusting God for children. But this is specifically. Okay, now that you've seen the baby, you can. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, we have to do this very fast. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm being told that there's someone being delivered right now from the spirit of suicide. Suicide, you've been you've been thinking about death again and again always thinking about death i declare that you're free right now hallelujah now i'm going to pray for everybody right now hallelujah we cannot go on and on because of time i'm going to pray for you right now now is the time for you to lift up whatever request you came with whatever picture i don't care what it is those who are streaming online hallelujah now is the time hallelujah i hear the cry of children children in my ears i hear the cry of children every barrenness right now in this place i take authority over it in the name of jesus we release miracle children in the name of jesus receive for yourself and for your loved ones in the name of the lord jesus even if they don't have wombs, we give them brand new wombs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Death cancellation. God is canceling deaths supernaturally. There are many of our parents, there are some of us who the debts that we owe and that our parents owe will only take a miracle. I know one of you, your mom was owing people and she's late right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command supernatural death cancellation. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those of you seeking admission into ABU. Promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south it comes from god receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus your jumps come and pursue me notwithstanding receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah right here we release supernatural marriages in the name of the lord jesus receive for yourself and for your loved ones there are a number of you who have suffered casualties in your families in the name of jesus we break that bond of delay in the name of jesus fibroids growths cancers tumors die and go out of their bodies in the name of jesus every growth disappear right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah those of you trusting god for a financial miracle manasseh spoke about it in the name of jesus please see take what we are saying serious we are not just speaking to do a miracle you will record testimonies that will shock you from this prophetic declaration let the holy ghost begin to move across families across bank accounts supernatural increase in the area of your finances receive it in the name of jesus oh for there is something called the anointing to prosper it's not by mathematics there is an anointing that makes it happen receive it now in the name of jesus hallelujah terminal disease terminal disease 
every kind of terminal disease HIV be gone now in the name of Jesus whether in this place or by prophetic connection I come against that spirit be healed in the name of Jesus SS your genotype SS in the name of the Lord Jesus we change it now we change it to AA in the name of Jesus biology notwithstanding we change it right away hallelujah every plague of death every plague of death upon the life and the family of everyone in the name of Jesus you are free from it receive it in Jesus name receive it in Jesus name every plague of death you are free from it in the name of Jesus I see someone with a prayer request for a hole in the heart let that hole close now let that hole close now right now in the name of Jesus Christ let that hole close right now hallelujah migraine headache migraine headache every kind of migraine be gone in the name of Jesus Christ many of you are trusting God for your school fees for the next session for those of you who are students you shall not see wind you shall not see rain yet you will not beg anybody for your school fees the hand of the Lord will bring it receive it now in the name of Jesus hallelujah many of you are trusting God to begin to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit with clarity and precision in the name that is above all names let your spiritual ears be open right now be open right now every spiritual ears be open to hear the voice of the spirit and let your eyes be open let your eyes be open let your eyes be open visions in the name of Jesus dreams in the name of Jesus prophetic encounters in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus a supernatural anointing to heal the sick the Lord says to heal the sick if you believe it lift your hands Lord right now in September miracle service a rain of the healing anointing receive it right now inside and outside the healing anointing receive it is coming upon you like fire in your hands receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of Jesus receive it God is going to launch entrepreneurs right now I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is giving utterance we'll soon be rounding up many of you will feel fire literal fire upon your head ideas that will shock you hallelujah at the count of three that's what God tells me that it will come creativity that will shock you one two three receive it receive it receive it inside and outside receive it supernatural ability for entrepreneurship receive it in the name of Jesus Super
supernatural entrepreneurship ability it's yours it's yours now many of you will see pictures many of you will see things business is in your dreams Jordan is stepping into a new level a brand new level of creativity hallelujah hear me the Lord says he's releasing an anointing that whoever you shake you will impart the favor of God now please believe it imparts the favor of God I release that anointing now receive it at the back receive it outside receive it the favor of God the favor of God the favor of God the favor of God habits habits I see all kinds of habits masturbation drunkenness lust all kinds of demonic influences be free from them right now 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 in the name of Jesus many of you hear voices in your rooms you hear voices that's what the Lord is telling me voices and many of you see people they talk to you and they mislead you in the name of Jesus Christ right now I cause an eternal separation between you and these voices in the name of Jesus every mental challenge that is impeding your progress in terms of your education or assimilation there are many people you are not dull you don't know what the problem is right now in this miracle service i release the super intelligence of the spirit of god receive it receive it it's yours receive it hallelujah in one minute I like you to express whatever you came here with that has not been mentioned that you told God to meet that day, whether financial whether whatever it is lift up your voice in one minute and say Lord I receive now mention it mention it by faith mention it say Lord I receive I receive for my family I came with an expectation make sure you don't waste your stay here come on pray Lord release it upon your people all their requests all their requests all their requests there are many supernatural things happening there's no time for us to bring them but you will go back change knowing that in September miracle service you encountered something hallelujah the last set of people I'll pray for right now hallelujah Manasseh said it John first said it some one or two months ago and the Lord has been showing me there is coming 
a supernatural outbreak of wealth and prosperity hear me upon the body of christ in zaria i don't know hear me please i will not tell you what god has not said are you listening to me we have been announcing it but you see from this first october we are entering there is going to be a supernatural release of fearful finances god will give people instructions that don't make sense and those instructions will open fearful and doors and that's what i want to release right now i want to release it let me tell you something brothers until that anointing is upon you you will struggle for nothing just believe me until that anointing is upon you this is one of the major impartation all of you will live with if at all you forget anything you receive today a major financial impartation is going to come upon you for as many of you who have faith to believe this supernatural impartation will come upon you and this will be the major thing the landmark experience that you will leave september miracle service with father you gave me this instruction and under the unction of the spirit of god the one who confirms the word of his servants i stand as your servant and that everyone under the sound of my voice young or old male or female in the name of jesus receive the power to prosper many of you don't have an idea of what that power is and what it does receive it right now oh brothers receive it don't reject it receive it it's called the power to prosper i release it from my heart i release it from my spirit receive it receive it receive it function in it the fullness of it it will speak for you because of what god is doing in this season you will step into a fearful undeniable dimension of wealth and prosperity that even you cannot explain if you believe it shout amen if you believe it shout amen if you believe it shout amen you're here and you're not born again jesus is not lord of your life inside and outside very quickly i'd like to invite you these signs and wonders are a mighty act of god right now as we put our hands together i'd like you to come out you've not been born again or you were once born again but have derailed from the path of god inside and outside leave your seat and run here very quickly you're welcome inside and outside as the lord is speaking to you please i'd like you to leave your seat and come they are coming appreciate them appreciate them hallelujah don't sit back you not born a cure 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 dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.